Now let's do an La Nina El Nino update for you. These are the latest sea surface temperatures as of earlier this week. Wherever you see blue, that's below average sea surface temperatures. And you can see across a large swath of the Pacific, we continue to have that coolness. And most importantly, along the equator here, even though sea surface temperatures have warmed in the Eastern Pacific, out here in the Central and Western Pacific, they're still trending a little bit cooler than average. And this area of coolness continues right here. Also notice, it's cooled off in the Gulf of Mexico and across portions of the Atlantic. So we've seen a real downturn in tropical activity that may continue a little bit longer. So tropical storms and hurricanes over the next week to 10 days, not likely to come to fruition, at least in the Atlantic. Now what's gonna happen going forward? Here is the latest projection from the computer modeling. This is where we are right now. We're actually technically not in a La Nina. You need to be around this minus five Celsius, 0.5 Celsius to be considered La Nina, but we're below the line of average. So sea surface temperatures in the subtropical Pacific are still a little bit below average. And notice, as compared to this last graphic we showed you, that the statistical average, this green line, and this red line, the dynamic average, and this other one right here, this blue line that's called the Climate Prediction Center trend line, is all below the zero line all the way up until February, March, or April. What this is indicating is, is that we are not likely going to go this summer and fall into an El Nino. It's likely that a La Nina will get reestablished. In fact, we don't have to go very far to be technically back into a La Nina. And it does look like this is going to be a full two-year La Nina, which we tend to see about every 10 or 11 years or so, give or take a year. They line up very well with solar minimums. And what tends to happen after a two-year La Nina is you spring back. And as we get into March, April, and May, El Nino is likely to return by next spring. It may be a weak one but we will probably continue with some form of La Nina, cooler than average sea surface temperatures through winter and fall of 2021 into 2022. Now this is bad news for the West because this will likely mean a continued drought situation for the Western United States or drier than normal conditions. However, if we can get out of this La Nina by spring, that could bode well for a more wet spring in the Western United States in 2022. We've got to wait a little bit as this La Nina, as we were concerned about, is going to have some staying power. And again, it's no surprise because historically, when you go through deep solar minimums like we just went through, we're now seeing the sun activity really picking up. It's going into its next cycle. But right at the end of solar minimums and at the beginning of solar maximum periods is when you tend to have these longer lasting, stronger La Ninas. And that's one reason why a lot of the Western United States suffering through drought. So there's hope in the long term, short term La Nina is still gonna be reigning supreme through fall and at least into January and February of 2022. If you were to look at the probabilities of La Nina or neutral conditions, these, these letters here re represent months. So this is July, August, September. This is March, April, May. And notice that the El Nino probabilities are extremely low, but begin to trend up as we get into February, March, April, March, April, May. La Nina probabilities go up as we get into the fall and early winter season. Then they drop as we get into spring. And then we've got the neutral category right here. This is really to be expected. Historically speaking, this is exactly what we should expect. And this is what the models are seeing as well. With the forecast of the sea surface temperatures trending colder again, they have put in a La Nina watch. Now this is new. This La Nina that we're currently in technically was not a La Nina in June. It went away. It's technically not a La Nina now, but La Nina watch means the folks who watch these things suggests that it's going to potentially emerge in the September, November timeframe. So this is something we'll keep watching for you in the weeks and the months ahead as we go through the rest of summer.